Lori during the sleeping time? I guess most of your answers are yes. And that experience too is very disgusting, right? However, apart from this disgusting feeling, we have to take careful note of this annoying voice because it serves as an alert, a symptom that telling us a horrible disease is coming out to harass us. And that is called obstructive sleeping area, OSA. So, in brief, what is OSA? OSA is a sleep breathing disorder and categorized by the recurrent episodic hypothesis that interspersed with the normal sex periods that will interrupt someone's sleep. The definition is so complicated, right? So, shall we take a closer look to this graph? This graph uh, describes the oxygen level acquired by the OSA patient during their sleeping class. We can see that the oxygen level fluctuates a lot, up and down, up and down, up and down. So that implies that OS patients can acquire their enough oxygen level intermittently. And OSA is prevalent affecting the worldwide populations, including the Eastern and Western countries, such as China, Korea, USA, and Spain. It's reported that male is more susceptible to OSA than female, maybe due to their anatomical structures. Moreover, aging people and obese people are the high risk group of OSA. So, what are the causes of OSA? From this graph, we can see that the muscle here that support our throat and the soft palate are involuntarily relaxed. And that will in turn narrow down the breathing upper airway. And that's why we breathe less oxygen. And that's also the reason why we can hear the annoying voice made by the OSA patient. So, what are the terrifying consequences of OSA patients? First of all, the oxygen blood level will drastically drop and their body will instantly sense that and they will impose more burden, burden on their heart. That means our heart has to work harder and harder to pump out the blood to the other part of the body to ensure there is enough oxygen level for body metabolism. As a result, heart failure and another horrible disease, stroke, also occur. Insufficient level of oxygen also affect the neuronal activities. Neurons are the helpers to transmit the signal from the brain to the other parts of the body and vice versa. So neuronal damage will elicit the daytime flippiness, loss of memories, and the most important is loss of creativity. That implies that OSA patient may not be qualified as a good com congestion for family competitions. Com so anyway, if you have friends always smile to you when chatting, you may not be too boring because he or she can be a potential OSA patient. Thank you.